2025 is the year of pipe coding, which means that you can now use prompt engineering to turn your ideas into real life applications. But the first step to do that is moving these applications from local host into a publicly shareable link. This process is called hosting. And in the next few minutes, we will be seeing how you can host your application using DigitalOcean's app platform. Let's try to wipe code a note-taking app using Lovable and then deploy it on DigitalOcean's app platform. So here on Lovable, I will prompt it to help me build a note-taking app. And this should be enough to let Lovable understand that it needs to generate a note-taking app. While it does that, let me quickly go to DigitalOcean's platform and it'll help you understand how the app platform works. I have logged into our console and from here under the app platform, you see the option to create an app. And while you click on create app, you have three options to choose as deployment source, which could be a Git provider, which could be a container image, or you could also use any of our sample apps. For this particular demo, we will be using a Git repository. So whenever a lovable app is created, we need to make sure that the code is on GitHub. So let's go back to lovable and see how far it is with creating our app. We'll just give it a few minutes for the app to be created. The app is ready and I like how it looks. So the next step is I will make sure that it is on a GitHub repo so that I can use this as the deployment source for my app on DigitalOcean's app platform. And as you can see, it's there on GitHub. It's under the name Everyday Notepad. I'll go back to Lovable and here I'll prompt it to make sure that this is production ready to be out on DigitalOcean's app platform. So the prompt, it tells Lovable to check for security you know, fixes, make, making sure that there is no environment variables that is hard coded. It checks for some health checks. It makes sure that it is GitHub ready. Everything is in a single component. And then it also makes sure to check that there is no app spec, no Docker file. And finally, it asks Lovable to create a readme for the entire project. And while this is done, we will go back to our app platform and then make sure to pull up the app from GitHub. So we are here. I'll refresh the app platform a bit so that it gives us or brings the latest repository for us. And since we have the app on GitHub, so we'll keep it to GitHub and it's called Everyday No Taking App. The branch is main and make sure to have auto deploy selected so that whenever you're making any changes to your app, it happens automatically and you do not have to do it manually. And here, since it's a static app, we'll just choose it as a static site. Since we do not have any environment variables, we'll keep this environment variables part as empty. And that should be it. You can give it a name. I'm fine with this name and I'll just click on create app. While the app is being created, one of the best feature that I like about app platform is that it provides DDoS protection out of the box. And under the settings tab, after your app is deployed, you also have the option to map it to a custom domain. When the app is being deployed, it gets on digitalocean.app domain, which is by default. But if you have any custom domains, you can very easily map it under the settings from this functionality. And then while the app is being built, you can check the build logs from here. You can see if there is anything that needs to be changed, any errors that's being faced during the build process, and you can make the changes accordingly. So this takes a few minutes. And then after a few minutes, you'll see that your app is live and in production. The app is deployed and this is where it resides. And that's how we Vibe coded an entire app from scratch and deployed it using DigitalOcean's app platform. And not just this, you can also expand your app and add features like databases, functions, and even add AI capabilities. So that's the best part about having your app on DigitalOcean. That's it for me. And I hope that you enjoyed and I look forward to you vibe coding more applications and deploying it on DigitalOcean's app platform. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye.